Hi, um, I'm making a reaction video to a YouTube video or a series of YouTube videos that was made by a YouTuber named um, Peter S A N T E N E L L O. I spell names because I can't pronounce them. He made a series of um, YouTube videos about Hasidic Brooklyn with um, Shlomi Z I O N C E. Um, he went to Borough Park, Williamsburg, and Crown Heights. And basically, Shlomi helped him do a puff piece, a series of puff piece videos on these three communities, where he basically only showed the positive things and didn't talk about any of the um, problems in the communities. And basically, how I feel about puff pieces is they don't really benefit the communities. I feel like, you know, like, people don't really believe puff pieces. At least smart people don't because, like, Everything's not perfect, and people know that. And I feel like people identify with your struggles. Like if you say, you know, our community is good, but we struggle with this, this, and this, people people feel for you, and people identify with that. And people are like, yeah, I struggle with that too, you know, and people appreciate that. People want fair and balanced news. They don't want to hear all negative, but they don't want to hear, like, everything's all hunky-dory too. Like people don't want to hear that BS because people know it's not true. And I feel like it's just insulting somebody's intelligence to be like, to tell everybody everything's all roses, you know, because nobody really believes that, you know? So I just don't feel like it benefits the community to just be like, we're perfect and we're like the best, you know, because it ain't true, you know? And I feel like fair and balanced reporting and saying the pros and the cons is just a better way to present a community because people identify with you when you say, I'm not perfect and here's what I do good and here's also what I do bad. So I feel like it would have benefited us more if we had said, this is where we also struggle. So, okay. So anyway, so I live in Kabad Crown Heights. I don't know a lot about Williamsburg or Borough Park, but um, Kabad Crown Heights is amazing. It's an amazing community. I want to say Lubavitchers. I mean, there's assholes everywhere, but Lubavitchers for the most part are the most warm and welcoming and gracious and hospitable people in the world. I love Kabad Crown Heights. It's an amazing place, amazing resources, amazing stuff for Jewish people, amazing shops, synagogues, organizations. It's an amazing place to be. There's a lot of great things about Crown Heights, but right now I'm just going to focus on a few things I thought they should have brought up in the documentary, a few problems that we have in our community and some other Hasidic communities um, that I think should have been brought up. Okay, and I'm not listing all the problems we have, but just some a few problems. First of all, in ways that we're not welcoming. First of all, um, I don't think we're that welcoming to converts and BTs. I think that that's a big issue in our communities. Okay, that they are welcomed as much as from from birth Jews, and I also don't think that because women uh, are left out of media their faces are left out and often they're left out of media not so much in crown heights like at crown heights the media sometimes does put pictures of women in the media but like when they take pictures of like lakimes and like engagement parties and weddings they don't put the women in the pictures they only put the men like you always see in the engagement party the parts where the men are partying but you never see the women partying you never see any pictures of the women so they do live, leave women out there so it's like Women are left out of media a lot, even in Crown Heights, even though women are in pictures other places in Crown Heights. But when you see media from other areas, there's no pictures of women, other Hasidic areas. So it's like women are left out of media a lot. So the media is not so welcoming to women. So that's places where it's not welcoming to BTs, converts, and women. Like women are left out, you know? So, yeah. And also another issue we have is, and I know some people argue that this isn't an issue, but it's been brought up by enough people where I think it should have been in a documentary. And this is something that Yafa fights for, is saying that we don't have enough secular education. Now, like I said, we can argue this isn't an issue, or that Yafa is fighting for it the wrong way, or that whatever you want to say. But the bottom line is some people say that we don't have enough secular education, okay? Now, like I said, you might not agree with everything your office does or the way they're going about it, but some people say there's a real argument to be said that we don't have enough science, math, English, history in our in our yeshivas.
Maybe that's true. Maybe that's not true. But maybe a documentary should have at least mentioned that. But there is a fight going on with that with our yeshivas. Also, another thing is that um, um, we have an opiate problem. We have a drug problem in some of our communities. We do have people that are overdosing. And I feel like a lot of people are very, very ashamed to talk about that. They want to hide. They don't want to talk about the situation. They're high. They're scared of that. You know, they don't want to talk about opiate problems, mental health issues. They don't want to talk about these kind of things. But the thing is, I don't feel like we should hide those kind of things. It just spills the segment even more. And the thing is, we do have people ODing. And I feel like this is a problem that we should be open about, the fact that this does happen in our communities. So I feel like that should have also been brought up in the documentary that this is going on in our communities and that the struggle is real and that we do have organizations working to fight this problem in our communities. So I feel like those are some problems that should have been addressed in that video that weren't brought up at all. It was just like a puff piece. Like everything's great. Nobody's on drugs. Everybody's happy. We don't have any problems. No conflicts, no drama. Everything's wonderful in the Hasidic Brooklyn world. So this is just a few things that should have been brought up, I think. Um, like I said, our communities are amazing. We are the best in the whole world. But at the same time, we still have struggles. The best can still have struggles. But um, yeah, so I don't believe in puff pieces. I believe balanced news, pros and cons.